Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I'm Nye. We had a good run last time. Didn't go quite as far as I was hoping to. We went to we went to Azazel and his bitchin' mini brimstone. Unfortunately failed just prior to beating Shoal. That's fine. Let's try Lazarus. He looks neat. Oh, it's eyes! So what's the deal with Lazarus? Well, he starts with a pill, apparently. Three uh, three hearts, and extra, apparently an extra life. Well, that was a health down, so that's, that's a good way. So I, I play as Lazarus. He apparently starts with two hearts and one extra life and nothing else. Oh, uh, that's wow. So yeah. Well, that's exciting. So, you know, apparently, you know, he has he has an extra life that we can use if needed. I can just run into every attack being fired at me and also lose every heart I start with. That is how you play the Bunny of Isaac. Well, if I find a bomb anywhere, that is the first place I want to go, I think. Because we have a tented uh, rock and uh, money all sitting in the same spot. Waiting for a friendly person. What do we got in here? What is that? There's the D10, and you can reroll enemies. Oh, that's pretty exciting. I wonder if you can reroll bosses. I probably shouldn't try that, should I? <laughs> that sounds like a bad idea. Okay. Uh, what if I what if I use it here? Oh, cool. So, what is the usefulness of that? What what, what does that do for you? I don't feel like dealing with this. Please reset. Speaking of resetting. Probably gonna use that one heart sometime soon. Fuck. Screw you, Diglett. I mean, really. Okay, so. It's famine. So, I don't want to deal with famine, please. Oh, oh, damn. It didn't reset. I, I thought it respawned uh, after one room. Apparently, I was wrong. Um, that's, you know, hey, that's 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 cool beans, you know. Famine looks a lot more terrifying than he did in the previous game. I, I gotta say. I'm gonna give them props for that one. Famine actually looks like a scary, scary dude. So, what 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 have we what have we accomplished so far on this floor? Well, I lost a heart. Took multiple bits of damage. I'm gonna be getting uh either the ball of bandages or the cube of meat. That's about all I can say for myself. Exciting. Bandages! Okay, what we did get, however, we did get a uh, a heart. A, a demon heart. Unfortunately, that's about all I can say. Oh, and those guys are still there. Interesting. Uh, I'm not going to sacrifice the heart. It really sucks that I'm not going to be able to get that, uh... That rock or, uh... Or the nickel there. But, you know... Things happen. I really wish I could break those. Okay. So let's see what we can do here. So, there is a potential character unlock that we could get by beating two floors without picking up any hearts. That's obviously not happening right now because I find it more important to uh, pick up hearts and survive than I do to unlock Eve, of all people. I don't really like Eve all that much. Let's go ahead and re-roll this guy. Why not? Okay. Let's re-roll these guys. I'm just curious what I can get. Like, it looks like it re-rolls them all into the exact same character, or exact same enemy. Well, that's not true, because the first, the first, uh, first time we used it, it didn't do that. What I'm really curious uh, is, um, can we... Ooh, what is this? Butt Penny. Wealth of Gas. What I really want to know is, can we reroll a boss? Let's find out. It's Monstro. Uh, nope. I could reroll his ads, but I couldn't reroll Monstro himself. Which, honestly, that makes complete and total sense, because it's it's a boss. You shouldn't be able to reroll them, just... Oh, I really don't like this particular boss. Quick, give me... I don't, I don't want to fight Blue Baby today. You know, let me let me beat the chest by fighting someone completely different. That would probably screw things up. Completely just not fight mom. You know? 
That said, you could also roll into the Fallen, and that would be pretty badass. Roll yourself out of a Four Horseman because you didn't want to get higher than uh, level 2 on whatever it was, and, you know. That could be a thing, right? Come on. Monstro, you're so close to dying. Can you just finish it up already? Thank you. Deal with the Devil. Fantastic. The Devil seems to be a lot more common nowadays. Uh, three red chests, or do I want to establish a deal with the angel precedent this time? It's a good question. Um, let's do that. Let's leave, and let's establish a, a deal with the angel precedent, and let's see what happens. That sounds like an idea. So we've been doing a lot of deals with the devil. I'd like to see what the angel has to offer. Not only to see what's new, but also because, well, we have to pick it up eventually anyways, right? There's a key, so let's go to our item room. Still no bombs, so... That's not working well. What is this? Ball of tar, sticky feet. Oh, that looked terrifying. So it looks like I'm leaving behind sticky creep that'll slow enemies down. Hey, Judgment. Got three cents for you, bud. Ah, well, good talking to you. Good talk, Judgment. It also looks like, uh, so we got a slowing effect going on. Did I get, I did fire off a black tear as well, uh, which I imagine is Gish tears. So I wonder what affects those. Probably luck, if I had to make a guess. That's a pill. Luck up. Excellent. I, hey, I'll take it. Well, that's going to be the end of this floor. We're still very, very low on consumables, which is a far cry from the last run. Which is a shame. Having to skip uh, getting something to a judgment is also a shame. Off to... Let's see. Catacombs. I think, didn't we... Did, we unlocked catacombs last run, right? Is, is, didn't that happen? I think so, right? Oh, I got hit by that. That was terrible damage for me to take. These things irritate me. Oh, that's not even a place to go. Whoops! Let me be going this way. Oh, God, look at all this terrible, terrible damage. It's as if I don't know how to play. And you would not be, uh... You would not be mistaken if you made that assumption about me. Okay. Well, as usual, I am of the opinion... How on earth does Sticky Creep affect a flying fly? Can you explain that to me? How that works? Hmm. Uh, I am definitely willing to do this. That ended up working out. Traded one spirit heart for... Or like a half a spirit heart that I was running out of for... Uh, I don't need to go up here... Traded that one spirit heart for, uh, you know, black heart and a half. So we're uh, we're going to have, um, like, two Necronomicon effects off of that. Uh, one the next time we take damage, and one the time we take damage after that. Which, that feels pretty good. Uh, two Teratomas, though. I'm not sure how I feel... Or, Teratoma bits. I'm not sure how I feel about that, honestly. Um, not very good. Let's, let's start with that, and we'll go from there. We haven't even actually legitimately fought Teratoma either, so... Oh, I almost took damage. I did take damage. Well, that should just basically kill everything, yeah. So there was a benefit off of that. I don't know, I kinda... I'll be honest, I like the Black Hearts more than I like the uh, Spirit Hearts at this point. Because Spirit Hearts don't seem to do anything extra. The Black Hearts have an additional effect. One, I might add, which is quite useful. Okay, so we definitely know what Fire Mine does. I'm kind of uh, concerned about how Fire Mine is going to interact with Tar. It doesn't, okay. Realistically, come on, come on. You you know, you know that you you're sitting there you're sitting there thinking, oh god, he's gonna light himself on fire. Oh, we got butt lickers. Okay, it looks like they stay together now, uh, instead of breaking apart like they used to. 
Which I think, which makes me feel a lot better about dealing with them, actually. Because I don't have to be uh, incredibly concerned they will all of a sudden come apart. Can I go in here? Yes. Um, sure. Cartridge. So the question is, what does that do? Oh, well, that happened. We got another set of these. What, do, I, do I have to blow in it to make it do something? Why do these guys have so much health? Or does Lazarus just have no damage whatsoever? I think I might have to come to the conclusion that Lazarus has no damage whatsoever. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I took damage off of that. Okay. Well, that's going to blow up. Let's go ahead and pop that open. Giving me a wealth of bonuses. Making that very worthwhile. Okay, so the question is, where, oh where, is my secret room? Is it here? No. Sure, buddy. I don't really want the pushpin. I want to stick with the uh, cartridge for a while and kind of see what it does. Let's go ahead and jump in here. Ladder for 15 cents doesn't fill me with any level of joy, but uh, that heart for 3 cents may actually be worth it. So let's go pick that up. Is the secret room right here, maybe? No. Well, let's go ahead and give him... the hearts. He gives me the Empress, so, I mean, that's... Eh. That's okay. Like, I'm not, you know... I'm not hurting. Not really. That's a heart. Let's go bring this back to him. I mean, what we're talking about is potentially paying three gold plus... Eh. To get an item, which seems worth it to me. What's this? Come on. Another Empress. Damn. Well, with only... One black heart remaining. Can I reroll these guys? I can. I don't know why I want to do that. Yeah. Oh, that was really stupid of me. And I just got myself killed. And that just re-rolls me immediately. Weird. Usually you would revive in another room. Like, you'd have to restart. But I guess because I've already beaten that room, uh, it doesn't work that way. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to flat die. I've made some very poor choices today. So I, I anticipate that we're going to just die. No. No, get out of here. Ah. Okay, well, we just died. Let's go ahead and restart. What is this? Sissy long legs. She loves you. That's pheromones. No idea what that does. I was... Hmm. Ah. I was mildly concerned that uh, the pill he came out, he started with, was always going to be a health down. Just because it was so convenient that that happened like that. But apparently not. Which makes me happy. I'm trying to figure out what. Oh, she births spiders. Okay, of course she does. Because that actually makes sense, that she she has spiders. Okay, um, let's go explore the rest of the floor, just see where potential uh, secret rooms could be. It looks like there's really only one choice. That's going to be right next to the item room. So we'll go ahead and try that. This is starting off a lot better than the last run did. Uh, you know, better item. Better consumables. Wow. I'm amazed it's not there. Got a monstro fight. It's pretty good. And hopefully these spiders will do good stuff. I'm not sure how much damage a blue spider does versus, say, a blue fly. Because, for instance, I know that a blue fly does, uh, I think it's twice your damage. Twice the damage of a basic uh, tier. So what I don't know is, does a spider do more or less 
Spiders move slower across the ground. I mean, they have um, some other things going on for them. They all, you know, they can't fly, so they can't go over pits. So they seem decidedly weaker than a fly. So I would think maybe they would do a little more damage, but I'm not entirely sure about that. Let's go ahead and pick up some health. Pick up some more health. And uh, move on to the next floor. Now being the next floor, hoping we're going to get maybe a deal with the devil, but, you know, we... If the game works the same as it used to, we may get a deal with the angel because I did a deal with the devil last run, or skipped one, rather. Just didn't take it at all. So, you know, there's maybe the deal with the devil precedent has been set. I don't know. Maybe that's something the game does nowadays. Uh, tears up is excellent. I like that. What I'm also kind of curious about is if the, uh, if the re, um, revival off of Lazarus actually has some sort of effect, because I almost expect it to. I expect it to do something, you know? I'm not sure what, but... We have Capricorn, all stats up. That's pretty nice. I like it when there's all stats up in the game. Okay, we got some sumo wrestlers. Kind of don't want to be trapped between them, honestly. Oh, I got hit by that poop. That was terrible damage to take. Okay, let's keep an eye out for potential secret room locations. There's at least two. Okay, we're getting cl we're getting close to shop territory. I could go now. Uh, we have the keys, uh, but I would like to... Uh, if I do use the key to go there, I would like to have um, a little bit more going for me. So I'd hate to have a really good item that I just can't buy because I don't have the uh, key required. We do have... Let's see. We do have two bombs. Come on. There we go. Uh, battery, which is pretty much useless because we don't have any spacebar item. Didn't come into this floor with particularly a lot of cash, so I don't think we're going to be seeing an arcade on this floor. Yeah, no such luck. That's going to have to wait until another two floors from now. But, maybe we might see something else. Okay. Well, let's go make our way to the boss and see what the game has in store for me today. We do have a lot of health, though. Five health is really nice. Uh, why not? Let's go do it. BFF. I have no idea what it does. We can't get it anyways. Let's go ahead and skip it for now. Got Larry Jr., which is actually rather nice. I'm really excited about fighting Larry, uh, Larry Jr., because it should be a fight that I can do pretty darn easily. Looks like we did split him. Which is fine. No, do not hit me. Okay, we did get a deal with the devil anyways. Um, let's go in. If he has something good, we might take it. If he doesn't have anything good, we'll skip it. Easy answer, right? Seems like the average heart drop nowadays is typically one and a half. Which is an interesting thing to note here. What's he got? So he's got Guppy's Collar for one heart. I think we're going to skip that, and instead we're just going to go. Yeah. We'll just go. Um, see if we can get that deal with the angel instead. I'm really hoping to see angel stuff. But also, I just... As good as being Guppy is, I don't think Guppy's collar is all that good. Let's go ahead and blow that up and see what happens. I don't know why, but I don't know. I don't know what the. Uh, I don't really understand what the rainbow poop does. Doesn't seem to be a whole hell of a lot. I'll tell you what. Full health is awesome. We have a lot of good pills in the rotation this time. I'll get that key in a second. Uh, doctor's remote. I mean, that's not bad. That's basically a reusable bomb that I get to use to search for secret rooms. That's basically all that's going to be for me. So, let's see uh, if we can figure out a secret room location for me to try. trying to hit this guy and he just won't be hit. There we go. I really do not like this particular room layout for these enemies because they are very hard to hit. Okay, so we know that the previous room has a, uh, two different secret room locations. I cannot believe I allowed myself to get hit by that. 
I was too busy looking at my map. Actually, both times. That's embarrassing. I was too busy looking at my map at potential secret room locations to actually pay attention to what the hell I was doing. Okay, so let's go ahead and drop that there. It is not there. We'll come back and we'll check the second location in a second here. So there's our shop. We still do not have enough uh, money to really do much with it. Though that seems to be rapidly fixing itself. So we're going to have to check on that in a second. Can't mess with that key, but that's fine. Okay, so there's our boss. Oh, no, I just walked into that. I'm, I'm just the master of bad damage today, I'll tell you what. There's our secret room, which affords us yet another battery. Which is pretty terrible. We're just, we're getting really bad luck with secret rooms. Looking for money, and they're giving me rechargeables, basically, that all it gives me is the ability to do the exact same thing I spent to get it. Okay, well, let's see if, uh... Let's see if we can find something in this... Oh, so much bad damage. Are you a wizard? Okay, I do not want to be doing that with this. Certainly. Not that I can. I don't even have the, uh... I don't even have the health to do in the first place, but I do not want to go... In... I would not want to go into a gauntlet shooting like this, because you can see I'm having this much trouble just hitting this stuff. Probably the most obnoxious tier, uh, tier effect in the game. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna go to the boss. Who do we got? Mega Fatty. And he completely dodges all the damage I was about to do to him. Okay. And you just keep on doing that. He just has so much health. Ah. Uh, So much health. Which is kind of understandable. I mean, given what he is supposed to be. Okay, here comes the barf. Which just trails you. Is that how you're supposed to projectile vomit? You suck in a lot of air and then... Oh, I cannot believe I took damage from that. There was no time for that tell is the problem. There's just not a... Yeah, there's not a lot of time when he does that to get out of the way. Okay, well, that's a lot of damage for basically no reason. Squeezy's pretty good, though. Once again, I'm not going to bother going into the store. We're just going to move on. Here's our deal with the devil's uh, shaped rooms again. That's good, right? It's a good sign. Maybe. So apparently the bats do actually have an attack. They just rush you, apparently. Just kill these guys real quick. Come on. Just, no, just don't. God. I hate the fast rushing attacks. Just not... They're not attacks I like in enemies. Did my spider actually attack them? Or was I just seeing things? I think I was seeing things. More of the exact same nonsense. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. I'll have enough refreshes that I'll be able to uh, use that a couple more times this floor, I imagine. Only has a two-room refresh. Doesn't take that long to get back up. Okay. So that was it. Getting some money, getting some health. Excellent. Uh, we got another one. Cancer. Oh, Cancer. Ooh. Cancer is an item now. Interesting. Uh, my, uh, oh, I'm, because I'm, I'm, a, I'm a crab. I was looking at my hands going, man, my hands look really weird right now. I imagine with the, with the achievements that tend to be in these games, I kind of imagine that one of the achievements is probably going to be get all 12 signs of the Zodiac. 
We've already seen, I think, four of them. Capricorn, Cancer, Gemini. Kind of curious what Leo's going to be. Never paid much attention to, uh, to that stuff myself, so I don't actually know all of them. My apologies to anybody who's put off by that. Let's go ahead and unlock the chest room. Okay, so how does this room work? What's the deal with this room? It doesn't even seem to be a deal with this room. There's nothing in it. Guess I'll spend this to get this. Let's try that wall. Okay, now we have money. So now the store is going to be a thing we can do. Now, unfortunately, the other bit about this is that this store is probably also going to have greed. So I don't anticipate we're going to have a lot of fun in this store, but, you know. Your mileage may vary. I don't know what that thing is doing. Ah! Bad damage all up and down. Okay. Well, we can only go left. I'm glad we found a secret room, though. Oh, what am I doing? Okay. Use the Doctor's Remote to great effect. It's almost like the Little Vigo technique, except a little bit more weirdly timed. And, okay. Uh, Mom's coin purse... Could be really good, because we've actually seen some good pills. So let's see what we got here. Luck up is great. Tears up is great. Full health is fantastic. Tears down is not so good, but we did get a tears up earlier. So, uh, multiple, actually. So, um, not too bad. I, for some reason, wow, I have a hard time dodging that. I'm not actually sure why. Now, what I am a little bit concerned about is our damage. We have a lot of attack speed, but not a lot of attack damage, so our damage over time is really terrible still. So we're having trouble with the chargers, and I'm usually a little bit concerned if we're having trouble with chargers, because chargers are an easy enemy, for the most part. Like, easy to fight, not, not necessarily easy in general. Sure. I'll take that. So we are part one of Guppy. And I will definitely take Guppy if I can get him. I'd like to see if I can get Cricket, though. I'm assuming Cricket's a thing, just because there's Cricket's head and Cricket's body. And uh, Guppy kind of followed that same requirement of multiple pieces of, uh, of Guppy. So I'm kind of thinking there's a chance that you can become something else. That said, we could also become Guppy. And given that uh, one of the things Guppy looks for is how many times you hit someone with tears, and we have a particularly high attack rate, I'd be uh, really excited for that. Hey, look, Husk. I have flies, too. Okay, let's not get hit here. I'm actually kind of curious if uh, Cricket would be maybe the angel version of Guppy, you know, the thing that going to the angel gets you. I'm still kind of curious what happened to Max. Okay, so that is speed up and size down, okay. So, I'm still not going to go here. Let's go ahead and take this. Balls of steel, love it. So, it's not going to take deals with the devil. We're just going to see what happens. Could be a bad thing. I could pay for this. I probably will, actually. But I would really kind of like seeing uh, seeing something happen here. Seeing a deal with the angel. If that's even possible. I don't even know if we can get deal with the angels yet. Because it's been so long since I uh, did not have everything unlocked in Isaac 1. Uh, I can't... Oh, great. I can't remember if that's something you have to unlock or... This should weaken Mom for when you fight Mom. That really should be how that works. Okay, so we got... God, these guys... Uh -huh. I don't know what it is about them. That makes them so hard for me to dodge. Ooh. 
Let's go see what's in here. Looks like it's just going to be a spider room. Nothing particularly exciting. Might get a drop out of it, though. Do you want to just die for me? Yeah, we got to have a heart. Let's remember that spirit heart's here. Not spirit heart, eternal heart. Sorry. Different thing entirely. Keeping an eye out for a potential... Whoop, oh, wow, oh, wow. That's right, Nye, just take damage off some of the easiest enemies in the game. We got greed here, which means that our store is going to be open for us. Come on. Come on, Greed. Greed, don't do this. Would you, would you not deal damage to me and steal my stuff? Ooh, okay, that's pretty good. So for two floors, I have that. And that's pretty excellent. So that's going to give me half off of everything I buy at any, of the, at any of the stores. So that means that Greed was essentially worth 15 cents to me. Plus, you know, if I, if I choose to buy... Uh, uh, keys or health or something like that, uh, that's worth that too. Okay, I got two of clubs, which is bombs. Might as well just do that now. Hanged man. How to jump, it's time you learned how. Oh, wow. Um, not interested, but very, very cool. But it is very well time that uh, Isaac learned how to jump. Oh, apparently he can do that. I did not even know the sumo wrestlers could do that. Let's just, uh, let's kill these guys from up here. Whoa! Okay, so apparently they're they're not sumo wrestlers. They're big jumpers is what they are. Leapers, sorry. They're mega leapers. Man, I'm just, I'm taking all the terrible damage. All of the terrible damage. Okay. Found the secret room. So there's not much else that we need to do on this floor, honestly. Found our item room, right? Did we? Honestly, can't remember. Is that a shop? That's probably a library there, honestly. No, I got grabbed. Okay, let's go this way. We have not yet found our shop. And that was... Okay, so we haven't gone to our shop yet. That was our library that we just saw. Which explains why it looks so weird. For some reason, I thought that was our shop. And that we had gotten some sort of weird alternate shop thing. Okay, can I just stop taking stupid damage? Come on, do, do not die to this. Not to a room like this. Come on, and I died. Yeah, yeah see, the, see the damage inside of my face? So that's from respawning. My question is, does that actually do anything? So this is basically the poop version of uh, Dookie F. Oh, damn. We have no health. It's kind of depressing, honestly. Oh, do I only have... Ah, I only have one heart now. Not worth it. Yeah, I only have one heart now. This is kind of mean. I cannot believe I just did that. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.